As the first example, we have a, a simple composition with two text lines and boxes that adapt to the size of the text. The body moving extension is used to export the animation as a, into a separate folder where I create here uh, and also the default name is changed to the name of the animation. Clicking the render button starts the process of exporting, afterwards we just save it without giving it the font name or something like that. Now Blueprint is started and it automatically starts Casper CG as a preview. We see the black window in the background. First we need to create a new project uh, that is called Screencast in this case. We give it a working directory and we give it an output directory a folder inside Casper, create a new one. Settings for resolution and frame rate and different other settings need to be set inside the project. By default, Blueprint creates a new empty template, but we don't care about that and click add and import the exported JSON file click through the settings and end up with a functional template. By hitting play the template animates in, by hitting stop template animates out. By changing the text we can prove that the template is actually dynamic. Let's try something else. Beforehand I exported three different versions of a lower third template. It's the same design but one is with two text lines and the other ones are with only one. One is for the, the bigger one, the name, and the third one is only the, the functional part. After importing these three templates, Blueprint will create the code for automatically select which one to show based on which text fields are filled with data. Blueprint has a lot of advanced features that are not covered in this entry-level video.